Hello viewers, this is Dikshit Kumar. Let us make the body of plumber block. So you can see item number one body made of cast iron. So this is the drawing. You can note down the dimension. So also you can find this drawing in below description. So let's begin. Go to solid edge, click on solid part. Go to named views and set as ISO. Select protrusion. Now you have to select front reference plane. Using rectangle, draw rectangle like this. Now using smart dimension, I'll fix the dimension. So this length is 168 mm. This height is 14 mm. Let me fix it to the center. So from here to here parallel to 168, the length is 168 divided by 2. Also, I'll fix the distance from the center to bottom. That is from the center to the bottom. I'll fix it as 55 minus 12 minus 3. Enter. So that is 40 mm. So you can refer drawing for that. So this is 55 minus 12 minus 3 exactly from the center so that will become 40 mm so click on return now select protrusion symmetric extent so the protrusion distance is 36 mm click on finish cancel select cutout select front reference plane using line i will zoom this area so I have to draw a line like this, a closed profile using line. Using smart dimension, I'll fix the dimension. This is height 14. So this length is 4 in the drawing. Click on fit. Now using mirror, I will mirror this to the other side. So just mirror, click on written. Cut out symmetric extent, click finish, cancel. You can select cut out to select this face. I will use zoom area, take a circle, not at this point. By taking the reference, I'll draw a circle of radius 5. So I will put one more circle here of radius 5 next using line I'll connect this to circle tangentially now using trim I'll trim off the extra line and curves now using smart dimension I'll fix the dimension so this is 5 radius so this length it is 8 mm so just fit and I will zoom it again. Now distance from the center, from the center to the exact midpoint. So this length will become 128 divided by 2. So that is 64. Click on fit. Using mirror, I will mirror this to the other side. So click on written, just drop it down, finish, cancel. Again, you have to select cutout on the bottom face. You have to draw a rectangle like this using smart dimension. I will convert into a square of 20. So 20, 20. So I'll fix this to the center. So this will become 20 by 2 and the distance from the center from this center to the midpoint. So this will become 62 by 2 and using mirror I will mirror it to the other side. So click on written. Now this height so this height will become 2 plus 7 
that is 9 mm to a stop click finish cancel so I'll set as ISO and fit so that is nothing but a square of 20 so this height is 2 mm plus 7 mm next again you have to select cutout again you have to select bottom face again using rectangle we'll be drawing a rectangle like this using smart dimension we'll fix the dimension so this will become 20 so I'll make it symmetry the center to 20 by 2 10 mm so this distance is given in the drawing so this is 8 and even from this end it is 8 now you similarly you have to do it on the other side so using mirror I'll just mirror this to the other side so click on return so this cutout distance will be 2 mm click finish and cancel I'll set as ISO now I'll be selecting protrusion I'll be selecting this top face this face using circle by center exactly at the center I'll be drawing a circle of radius 43 now using line I'll just pass two lines like this and using trim I will trim off the extra curves and lines so this is the required profile using smart dimensional fix this this is 43 you can refer drawing for this so click on return now the height is not a direct height so have to calculate it so it will become 55 minus 14 mm so that is 41 mm so click finish cancel so in the drawing it is here 55 minus 14 I hope it is understood so next I'll be selecting cutout so I'll select this face using circle I'll draw a circle of diameter 10.5 using smart dimension I'll fix it is 10.5 now from this end to the center so the length so this distance is 62 by 2 so I'll mirror this to the other side mirror the circle to the other side so click on return you have to pass like this it is a throughout cutout so click on finish and cancel now select a round option set the radius as 6 mm enter you have to round this edge as well as on the other side so accept preview finish cancel again set as ISO and fit now I have to make a cutout select cutout select front reference plane I will zoom this much area I will draw a rectangle I'll draw a rectangle like this using smart dimension I'll fix the dimension so this length is 44 mm this height will be 12 mm so I'll make it to the center I'll fix to the center so this will become 44 by 2 and I'll move this to the top so from here to here so this distance is 0 so click on return cut out symmetric extent so cut like this finish cancel so again you have to select cut out select front reference plane I'll zoom this much area now select rectangle draw a rectangle like this using smart dimension I'll fix this length so this will become 38 mm 
and the height is 3 mm and from here to the center parallel to 38 it is 38 divided by 2 and from this to this this will become 0 click on written so cut out symmetric extent cut like this finish cancel now again select cut out and select front reference plane now take circle exactly at the center so the diameter is 38 mm so this is 38 mm diameter so click on written cut out symmetric extent finish cancel so this is very simple I have taken three steps so first rectangle is 44 by 12 a second rectangle is 38 by 3 and third is the circle of diameter 38 now you have to do this hole actually so let's make it so now I'll be making hole for that you have to select hole now you have to select this top reference plane and you'll be having here whole circle whole options so click here so saved setting it is a simple hole unit is in mm diameter is 6 mm so come here so click on finite extent so the depth of the hole so the depth of the hole you have to type as open bracket 38 by 2 close bracket and plus 6 it is half the diameter 38 diameter half the diameter plus 6 mm because I have selected the top reference plane so it will be a V bottom angle so I'll make it as 118 degree and I will click on OK and I have to fix at the center next click on written so direction towards downward so click finish cancel so I'll show you that hole so that front I'll select front I'll zoom this much area so I'll click on visible and hidden edges so this is the hole of 6 diameter and the depth is 6 so you can refer this hole option so you can note down this hole option so even you will find this in a below description so I will click on shaded with the visible edges I'll set as ISO and fit so you can see the body of plumber block is being completed now let me add the mat add material to this so go to tools material table material it is cast iron so apply to model I will click on save so the summary it is body so we will copy this and click on ok now I will create a folder so I will create a new folder I will type as plumber block I will click on ok then file name I will just paste as body so I have already saved this so you can just click on save it is asking for overwrite yes so that's it we have completed the body thank you for watching